swear you never tell anyone. My adventure book. And you want to know where I'm going to live? Paradise Falls. I'm saving these pages for all the adventures I'm going to have. Hey guys, so I'm here with Mr. Fredrickson and we're gonna age him. So first I'm taking this light foundation by Makeup Forever and I'm just gonna blend it all over his already flawless skin. Once his skin is lighter, I'm gonna take my white eyeshadow stick and whiten his eyebrows. Then I'm gonna grab my contouring palette, pick up this matte brown eyeshadow and create bags underneath his eyes. And now I'm gonna shade the crow feet, which means wrinkles on the sides of his eyes. After that, I'm going to deepen the frown lines and the worry lines and I'm just copying the exact same wrinkles that Mr. Fredrickson has in his face. Finally, contour the smile lines. You can also use a darker contour because uh, Mr. Carl's smile lines are very visible. To make the wrinkles look more natural, you're going to have to use a highlighter. So choose a matte highlighter and apply it inside the eye bags and also above the smile lines. Also highlight between the crow feet lines and I almost forgot to contour his nose so I'm going to contour to make his nose tip rounder just like Mr. Fredrickson and then I'm going to highlight the tip and the worry lines. Last but not the least I used this white temporary hairspray to spray his hair all white and now all Mr. Fredrickson needs is his square glasses. Now let's do the Ellie look. Also before the tutorial I did a quick peel off mask and I just feel like my skin looks really pretty and glowy. So if you guys were wondering I used the Hey Honey Take It Off mask. I want to be two or three shades lighter for this look so I'm taking my liquid foundation and then using a face perfecting brush to buff that onto my skin. For a smooth finish I'm going to take this light powder foundation and swirl it on my face. Now Ellie's brows aren't white like Carl's, they're more grayish brown so I'm going to take that brow powder and brush it on top of my brows. To create an illusion of thicker eyelids, I'm going to take this matte white eyeshadow and sweep it on my brow bones. Next I'm going to take this warm brown shadow and apply it on the hollows of my eyes to make my eyes appear rounder. Ellie has the cutest button shaped nose so make sure you contour the sides and round the tip. Now I'm going to shape my eyes even more with this dark brown eyeshadow so I'm just lining my upper lash line and I'm also going to go over my lower lash line with that same shadow. After that my eyes look more round and less almond shaped. Also don't forget to highlight the inner corners. Ellie doesn't have as much wrinkles as Carl but she does have those really deep smile lines so just smile and contour down till the chin. Actually, she does have some crow feet wrinkles too. Lastly, on the eyes, I'm going to widen it by using a peach liner on my waterline. Now to make the wrinkles look more natural, you guys know what to do. So highlight above the smile lines and also on the crow's feet. And I'm also going to minimize the size of my lips by dabbing foundation around the edges. For the cheeks, I want it to look really orange just like Ellie, so I'm just going to take this pigmented blush and then apply it on the apples of my cheeks. 
and I've already put on my blonde wig cap and here's my grayish white wig that looks exactly like Ellie's hair. I just need to make a quick bun in the back and then put on my glasses. And the story continues.